This is Actar's Reviews, from anime to figures and beyond. Hey, this is Actar and welcome to another episode of Actar's Replica Reviews. Yep, as you can probably hear and see, I am still alive, and I say that because it has definitely been a while since my last video, and I honestly have no excuses, um, though my horrendously busy term schedule would be a pretty good one. And as you've probably already noticed, there is something different about the setup in the background. The shelf has now been upgraded to a display case, and this wooden panel here is actually a drawer in which I keep all of my accessory boxes. It has gotten somewhat plain, but I do suppose it has its advantages in that the subject of the review will be able to stand out more clearly. That out of the way, today we are doing a Negima related review. Yep, Negima. I mean with the end of the Negima manga upon us, and with the release of the Negima anime final movie, what better time than now to do a Negima review? Come to think of it, my previous Nagima review was what, two, three years ago? The weird thing about Nagima is that, for its popularity, it has painfully few merchandise, well, at least in terms of uh, figures or actual reviewable merchandise. Anyways, the subject of today's review is indeed very reviewable, as we will be taking a look at the limited edition of volume 37 of the Nagima manga. For the uninitiated, the recent Negima manga volumes are released in two editions. The normal version, which is just the book itself, and the limited edition versions, with some bonus add-ons. These bonus add-ons range from volume to volume, and are usually pretty awesome stuff, from episodes of the OVA, to plastic replicas of the pac cards, to even a replica of the Ala Elba badge. Uh, unequivocally nice, but really nothing to write home about. Volume 37, however, hit the ball out of the park in terms of outstanding bonus items that make this particular volume a perfect collector's item that any Negima fan would want to own. What do I mean? Well, without further ado, let's jump straight into the review to find out. The box itself is designed similarly to all the more recent Negima limited edition volumes, fully coloured and made of a more traditional soft cardboard as opposed to the monochromed and hard cardboard of the even earlier volumes. A picture of Yue, Nodoka, Maki and Ayaka on the front, and the same goes for the back as well. And since that's pretty much all there is to talk about regarding the outer box, let's open this up and take a look at the contents inside. I think that I've kept you guys in suspense long enough. Now what makes this volume outstanding is that, in addition to the manga, you get not only the DVD of the full director's cut of the Negima anime final movie, but also an entire set of plastic pectio cards of Negi and his students. Speaking of the movie, ah uh, yeah, well, if you want to know how I feel about the movie, my take on it will be in the video description for those who are interested. Uh, spoiler warning, of course. Um, but let's just say that in short, I didn't think it was worthy of being the final Negima anime project. And moving on, we come back to the main event of this set, the Pactio cards. The box itself is of course plain white, uh, with some monochrome grey on it, Negima logo on the front, the Pactio logo on the back, character Car Carta Pactionis on the sides, and the other side we have Magister Negimagi. And here they are! Now, do note that the majority of the Pactio cards have completely new art, as you have never gotten to see the official Pactio card designs of most of the girls until now. However, I am not 100% certain if all of the cards actually debut in their manga. Mm, one thing that needs to be said right out of the bat is that these Pactio cards are not 100% accurate replicas. Now, bringing in Arsenal's Pactio card from the 200th chapter commemorative set, you can see that the cards that are included with volume 37 are printed with a shiny, sparkly gold background instead of the normal white. Aside from that, the aside from that particular difference, the designs are all the same and are accurate to the manga 
well, at least the ones that are seen in the manga. But that's not all. These cards have one more surprise. If we flip them over, you can see that every single card has the signatures of the respective voice actress on them. Again, a somewhat, somewhat of a strike against accuracy, but this just adds so much personality and individuality to each card. And lastly, as I've mentioned before, these cards are made of high quality plastic and are thus relatively durable. Well, more durable than cardboard anyways. So in conclusion, I think that the limited edition of volume 37 of the Negima manga in particular is one that fans of the Negima series should, without a doubt, own. Not only are the Pactio cards a superb collectible, you get the entire Negima anime final movie, uh, not taking into account that I didn't like it one bit, and a volume of the manga as well. While I personally would have preferred a complete anime manga accurate deck of Pactio cards, I'm willing to let that slide. Looking at it again, I think that these cards are not intended to be a replica set, but a commemorative set that collectors and fans of the series can appreciate. After all, the Negima series has come a very, very long way in terms of both the anime and the manga. Unfortunately, the price of this set is about two or three times higher than the average limited edition manga release. But I think that it is still a pretty fair price for what you're getting. If I'm not mistaken, there are still one or two more volumes of the manga left to go, and I can't wait to see what the limited edition release of those volumes will bring. So, the Zekta saying, see you guys in the next episode.